Good afternoon. I'm Doug, show me down under. I'm in a new environment here. Actually, it's the first time I've even spoken in here. <laughs> and it's a little echoey. And, uh, but anyway, I'll put a bit of vid here, um, somewhere through here, so you can check out uh, where I'm staying. Let me just take a bit of footage from the balcony. And um, yeah, it's been good so far, sitting here in Melbourne. Tonight, we're off to Mooney Valley race course and see the race horse racing there on Manicato Stakes Night and then tomorrow Cox Plate Day. Cox Plate's the probably um, it's one of the biggest uh, races on the calendar. It's wait for age, it's like it's a horse it's a race for the best horses in Australia in the world if they come over to compete. And um, my mate Scotty, his horse is running tomorrow as well at Mooney Valley, so uh, hopefully we'll get a bit of footage and I'll throw that into a, a video on Monday. Okay, let's get on with the show. Okay, so today we are shaving with new soap uh, from Bartican, Bartican and Stark. And this is their, I believe it's pronounced Campione. The main um, scent profiles are tobacco, vanilla, amber, and bergamot. But I will read you out a more fuller list and then give you, let me give you my thoughts of the uh, scent profile. By the way, I like it. And it also comes with the splash. And the diplomat with a Gillette aristocrat razor blade in it. I'm using a new setup here, so <laughs> I don't know whether to use the camera to shave in or the mirror. So let's see how we go. I'm not sure how this will look for the... No, it seems to be all right. For all of you sitting at home watching this. So, this produced a really excellent lather. This soap is limited edition. There's only 200 that's been made. There's still some left for sale on the Bardican and Stark website. Canadian, I believe. So well set up for all you people in the States or in Canada who are watching. The Bardican and Stark, and I brought that with me, actually, hang on. Brought this with me, the Tim Yard, I shaved that on Wednesday, uh, what's it, Wednesday night? Wednesday evening. It's one of my favourite soaps. Really, really lovely scent. And this has got a really marvellous scent as well.
just a magical first pass. Okay, just show you the, the lather. This just whipped up so, so well. It's just, it's as you can see in my face, it's just a thick, sustaining lather. That's nothing, it's nice and creamy. Um, it's thick, it's not dissolving on my face. This is just an excellent lather. I'll show you the inside the soap. And you can see the little bit there I scratched out, which probably looks deeper than what I really did. But I only needed a third of that amount that I scratched out to, to make a really nice lather. So, so if you're a, a, a shaver that's on a bit of a tight budget, but you want to buy a nice a nice soap, Bardic and Stark. This one sold out for the time being. I wonder if this was uh, limited. No, this one definitely is. Let me see it there. I've got 116 of 200. So there's one here you can just chip away at and make up a really nice lather and save a lot of money along the way. So I'll give you the scent profile from the website, which I've got sitting down here on the toilet, my laptop, because I couldn't find one pen or piece of paper in the whole room here. So the top notes are bergamot, clementine, which I have no idea about, and dried fruit. Then the middle is tobacco, frankincense, uh, jasmine, coconut, almond, and hay. So it's an interesting combination so far. And the base is amber, vanilla, uh, musk, cognac, and sandalwood. <clears throat> now, the scent profile I'll get out of it, that I get out of it, and I can't comment about Clementine, I have no idea what that smells like, none whatsoever. But for me, I get a real boozy fruit cake uh, scent. The tobacco is there, but it's not uh, playing. It's not playing up front where the dried fruit is. So that makes sense. Um, I'm also getting. The cognac, so when I'm smelling the soap, what's coming through is that up front, that dried fruit, there's that cake sort of scent in there as well. And then you can smell the alcohol, just the sharpness of the alcohol, which I think has to be the cognac. And, um, and then there's a bit of tobacco in there. What else was I finding in there? Maybe some coconut. Maybe a touch of frankincense. Uh, oh, yeah, the, now I'm getting the, the almond. The biscotti. You know those uh, Italian biscuits made from almond? That's in there. And yes, a vanilla mask, maybe some of that in there. But it's a really lovely scent. And, I would say it's more of a cooler weather scent. So you can get away with it in spring, definitely in autumn, and it's definitely a winter scent.
to my nose. I'll be keeping this one. Just my mate, he's landed here in Melbourne. Just landed. I'll hit him back up after the shave. Hmm. Oh, no wonder they were getting rid of these things. Cheap. It's a round ring of LED lights. So I, I was in a hurry when I left Adelaide, left behind a stand. I got here and I'm thinking, ah. Uh, so I went to a, uh, a local shop here, an Australian chain, JB Hi-Fi, for all you Aussies, and uh, bought a new stand, a selfie stand. I got it home, I put the camera on, I thought, oh, it's a bit dark, and I said, I remember seeing those rings of LED lights that clip onto your phone. So I went back there, I got nothing else better to do, and um, grabbed this uh, thing of lights, And they're like 17 bucks. Not that old. That's cheap. So I went up to the counter and I handed it to the woman, or the young woman behind the counter. And she scans it. She goes, oh, that'll be four bucks. I'm like, what? And she goes, it's four dollars. And I said, is that right? And she goes, she just shrugs her shoulders and goes, mm, yep, that's what I scanned. I just handed the money and walked out, but now I know why it's four bucks. Doesn't hold a charge. So you can you probably work out the mark up here. So they're not going to sell it at a loss. They're probably going to sell it at at cost. So it's four bucks. They're retailing it for seventeen. You work it out. So this ring of light started off quite bright, now it's, it's quite dull. It seems to be doing, that's more of the light above, isn't it? Anyway, it was four bucks done, four dollars. That was about two dollars twenty American, that's how bad the Aussie dollar is. Sixty-three cents. Every Aussie dollar gets you 63 American cents. What a pathetic piece of monetary. They keep the Aussie dollar down, apparently, to help us compete 
with manufacturing. So I it's just cheap for Americans, Brits, whoever around the world to buy Aussie merchandise. Whatever it is that we'd be making. But as a consumer, and you're buying stuff overseas, especially in America, it's just horrible. I'm probably lucky I've got the majority of my razors now that I'm collecting. It's almost financially now, it's, it's almost not worth it buying um, razors from America unless they're cheap. This is really nice stuff. Of course, a scent profiles are subjective to everyone's tastes, but what's really not subjective is the quality of lather and Barnican and Stark make an excellent soap or soap base that lathers really easily lathers really well, it lathers really thickly, creamy, it sits on your face, it doesn't dissolve while you're shaving away, it's just, it's probably just an unsung hero and there's a lot of brands, which I won't mention names, that have got a much higher profile ahead of Barnican or Stark that their soap base is nowhere near as good. And there are still some of this left for sale. This would be really nice for a northern Christmas scent as well. If you want something to shave with over Christmas, um, once, you smell, once you smell it, you'll understand what I'm saying. So. As I said to you, I was getting a real boozy fruitcake uh, scent right up front. And then cognac at the base, some tobacco in there. As I discovered during the shave, there is almond scent in there because all of a sudden it reminded me of what the uh, almond biscotti, I used to eat them occasionally, what they used to smell like. And um, this is really nice, really nice. I can't recommend it enough. Let's go to the splash. Apparently it's um, non-alcohol. There's a Virginian witch hazel in it. Hmm, that should be interesting. Be interested to see how the scent profile, if it's similar to the soap or not. Should be enough. The 
scent profile of the, of the splash is different. The boozy fruit is not up front. It's more of a, a dried fruit sort of scent now. With just some tobacco in behind it. No, oh, no, now it's starting to heat up on my face. That boozy fruit starting to come through. No, it's nice. It's a nice scent. I'm real happy with it. Okay. I'll get going. I've got things to do today. Got to make message me. We're going to the track. We'll be there at five. I'm thinking, I'm not even getting warmed up at five. But, um, you know, I'll get there a bit later meet them there somewhere. Um, I'm going to go out and buy myself a jacket. I think it's supposed to be raining today, but, and then especially tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll play it by ear. Gonna have something to do, I suppose. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll try and pop in just little snippets of um, where I'm staying. And um, yeah, another Monday shave, I'll try and put in um, I'm putting some footage of Scotty's horse. Hopefully it wins. It's got a real good chance in a, in a decent race. A listed race for all you people who follow horse racing. Okay, I'll run and um, hope you have a really great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Okay, take care. Ciao for now.